Now we bring the conversation back to Nigeria, where the 2023 Ebonyi State gubernatorial election will take place on March 18, just as it will across 27 other states of the federation. It will happen concurrently with elections to the state houses of assembly in all the 36 states in Nigeria. Now, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Chukuma Ifanyi, will be squaring up with 12 other candidates from other parties to get the job of leading the states for the next four years. Ifanyi got the PDP's ticket after a hard-fought battle culminating in the Court of Appeal in Abuja, dismissing an appeal challenging his nomination as the candidate of the PDP. Now, to discuss the PDP's chances in Saturday's governorship election, its challenges and the plans for the state, we're now joined by the Director General of the Eboi PDP governorship candidate, Abia Onyike. Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to the program. Great. We'll get straight into it. Now, uh, as we alluded in the, in the intro, there's been a lot of controversy to the emergence of the PDP candidate. Uh, now, let's take a look at some of the allegations that have been leveled against uh, some of the, shall I call it, disunity that has transpired within the PDP. Uh, you've accused members of the PDP of sowing disinformation, of abusing the judicial process. Now, given what transpired inspired on the presidential level and we see that disunity in the PDP played a very big role in taking away what could have been some of the gains of the presidential election. What's the outlook in Ebony state? Is the PDP reunited or is the, the party still in crisis? Good afternoon. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say <coughs> that I am the Director General PDP Campaign Ebony State, and my name is Chief Austin Igwe Edeze, not Abionike. Abionike is our media director. Uh, we have a very great chance. I think we have all the chances to win the next Saturday's election. Uh, we cannot count on what happened in the presidential <coughs> election. We know that a lot of factors militated against the last Saturday election, and um, we are taking care of all those factors. But most importantly is the intimidation, killings and harassment by the APC, the government of Ebony State. Uh, in most places, the government supervises the killing of our people, I recall that in the last uh, Saturday, I mean, uh, last election, presidential election, even in my own polling booth, a uh, PDP uh, faithful was killed, murdered in cold blood. That also happened in a lot of other polling booths. A few days ago, uh, the, the killing has not even stopped. Preparatory to the next Saturday election, a lot of harassment on our people. Uh, a few days ago, just the first day, a group of persons invaded my own personal house, scattered the whole house with bullets, and arrested people who were in my house, agents that came for training. And just last night, the acting PDP chairman's house in the state was invaded uh, ransacked, people were beaten up, injured, and that's the kind of thing we are witnessing in Ebony State, preparatory for the Saturday election. But I want to assure you that as a PDP, as PDP and as a family, and as a party that people wish to have in government, we are contending with all those issues. Thank you so much, Mr. Igwe. Um uh, still, since you brought up the issue of security, at some point, I think it was about l last week or the week before, um, in terms of security, we understand that um, Governor David Umahi, you know, he complained that there were too many security operatives in the state at the time, and there was some backlash regarding that. But I'm just wondering if those security operatives, uh, um, you know, being present have boosted your sense of safety in spite of what you've experienced as regards how things will play out in terms of security come March 18th? Yes, um, 
Governor David Omahi would complain of the uh, presence of too many security agents because he would wish that his defunct Ebubago militia would be given a chance to continue to molest and kill our people. So for him, he is not very comfortable with the presence of uh, conventional security because the lesser we have of the conventional security, the more opportunity for his Ebubago militia. Even when uh, the Ebubago has been repealed, the court has already dismissed the existence of Ebubago, but they are still there. They are still there terrorizing our people, using government apparatuses. And so, but um, from all the look of things, I think the security is rising up to the challenges, and that is why I say that the next week, the coming Saturday's election is going to be a different thing altogether. The security is prepared, we are also prepared. All right. Now, given the context of uh, what uh, you allege to be uh, meddling and manipulation by the ruling party, who do you think is the biggest threat to a PDP victory on Saturday? Is it the ruling party's candidate or is it the phenomenal performance that we saw from the Labour Party in Ebonyi State in the presidential election? Where is your focus targeted? <laughs> well, uh... It is to, our, to the advantage of the PDP that the Labour Party does not have a candidate in Ebony State. We wish, and in fact not just wishing, a lot of the branches and chapters of the Labour Party uh, have already collapsed for their support for, a, for the PDP. I know that uh, the House of uh, uh, Representative candidate, Prince Chibwezabo, last week collapsed his structure for the PDP. And not only the Labour Party, a lot of other parties, the RMI and the so many uh, AA party, they have all collapsed their structures in support of our, our great uh, candidate, Dr. Ifan Chuku Chukuma Odi. And that, of course, is going to be the next governor of Ebony State going by the kind of support we are having from the citizens. Our people are not deterred by the attack of APC. They are attacking our people everywhere. In some instances, I know I'm watching the Abaka Ikiluko government. The coordinator of the development center called on all the people of his place and advised that whoever voted for PDP will be ostracized. And uh, he had even started that by mounting a lot of false allegations and uh, causing unnecessary arrest of our PDP faithfuls, illegal detentions of our PDP faithful. Just yesterday, our House of Assembly candidate in Ebony was arrest arrested on allegation of murder that existed nowhere. So even amidst of this insecurity, I'm still assuring our people that we are determined to change this government. We are determined to take over this government. We are determined to come out victorious on sa next Saturday election. Thank you so much, um, Mr. Igwe. Um, uh, away from security now, you know, INEC has... INEC, um, based on what the feedback that we received from whether it's international or local observers, did not put on its best show on February 25th. But um, the lecture body is giving assurances to Nigeria, Nigerians that things will be much better come March 18th. Do you, are you, do you have any, um, any sense of contentment or satisfaction with what you foresee happening on March 18th that INEC will actually do what we expect them to do in terms of doing a much better job? Well, for us here in Ebony and of the PDF family, we are in a phase to do what is supposed to do, to exercise its responsibility according to the laws. I think we should mandate them. The citizens have been properly educated. For instance, if every vote must be declared at the ward and the polling booth and at the ward, there is uh, this pretense that uh, when, after counting the votes, 
uh, some INEC officials will say, oh, because security want to take it to the collection center, want to go and declare result at the local government, this will not happen. Because this happened at the presidential election, and in the process of taking the results from the polling booth to the ward and to the collection center, figures changed. And so this time we are making it as a, a stand, a, well, it is already a standing order, that, that's the regulation, that results must be declared and uploaded at the polling booth. That is our stand. And if we do this, and I neck, live up to expectations, uh, we wouldn't want a situation whereby those who want to rig election, uh, we are here, we, we, there's allegation that even the APC government are thumbprinting ballot papers. I, we are waiting to know where they are taking the ballot papers to. We are also aware that uh, there is allegation that they have their own beavers machine, which they intend to exchange with the original beavers machine. We are also waiting, and with all our eyes open, to know how that's going to happen. But we are sure that we insist, we must insist, that all results must be declared at the polling center. That is the order and that is the regulation. We wouldn't want a situation where after counting the votes, uh, say a group of persons or I never will come and say, oh, because of insecurity, let's go and declare the, res the result at the uh, collection center or at the what? No, 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 we wouldn't that. We will not give opportunity for rigging. We will not give any opportunity for rigging. And uh, we are using this opportunity to appeal to I neck officials in Ebony. We will not give you opportunity for those of you who have been bought over, we will not give you opportunity to rig this election. So just do your work accordingly, do what you are supposed expected to do, and I think that will give us a better opportunity to announce a better result, which is PDP result <laughs> to come. Well, the world is certainly watching. Now, just to take us yeah, back yeah. to security, I'd love to know what are your candidates' plans for the insecurity, the now notorious insecurity that uh, you've even alluded to yourself in Eboye State? How does he intend to fight this? For us in PDP, we do not, we don't work with violence. We don't also return violence for violence. We do not believe in violence in election. We believe in doing the right thing. What we plan to do is to make sure that everybody is at alert and to inform the security agencies of any intention by APC to cause violence. We will use all legitimate means to make sure we stop violence in this election. You know, of course, we would not want violence because we know we are the winning side. Those who would want violence are those who are not, who are sure they are losing. I don't see any reason, I don't see any reason and any wisdom in a party and a government-owned party, let me say to so for APC, arming youths, hoodlums, with ammunition to shoot who? So shoot their brothers. For what? For somebody's single ambition. Even when the former president had advised that even his own ambition was not worth a blood, a spit of blood of a Nigerian. So why would people want to kill because of unnecessary, inordinate ambition? We will do everything possible, legitimate wise, to make sure we stop violence. We are also aware that they intend to cause violence, especially in places where they are not sure of votes. And according to them, once they cause violence, then the votes will be cancelled. Well, we have heard. We are ready. Next Saturday's election, by God's grace, will be free and fair and devoid of violence. Thank you so much, Mr. Edeze. Um, I'm, there have been some allegations, you know, um, that public funds are being shared among residents um, of Ibuni State, and I'm not going to say who, um, which party is being alleged to be behind that. But are you? Do you have any concern about vote buying or vote selling um, ahead of the elections? Just yesterday, I'm saying this with assurance 
that the military army women wives rejected the load of goods brought by APC to the army, to the army women uh, wives at the Mkwago military cantonment. They brought a load, a lorry load of uh, goods, rice, indomie, and the rest of that, to possibly persuade the women to vote for uh, to vote for APC. But earlier before that, somebody from that community had gone to the army women's wives to warn them that on next come next Saturday, if they were not going to vote for APC candidate, they should not come out for election. Otherwise, they would pay with their life. This is the kind of warning you go to give to army women wives, the soldiers that are in fact protecting you and that environment. And so I'm sure they were irritated by that move. Apart from that, they had already made up their minds who to vote for. So to go and lobby them yesterday, I'm talking about just yesterday, with a lorry load of uh, goods, rice, and the land, that's also a form of vote buying. But unfortunately for them, the women refused, and they went, away, they went back with their lorry load of goods. All right, uh, we've been speaking to Austin Igwe Edeze, that's the Director General of the PDP Campaign Council for Ebony State. We thank you so much for your time and contribution.